Hmm. Pair halves with stuff inside and cheese on top. Brightly colored jello salad with fruit inside. Oh, more brightly colored jello with fruit inside, but this one has marshmallows on top. These are but a few of the vivid meals, dishes that come to mind when I think of church potlucks. Growing up, a church potluck was a very common occurrence, and about everyone in the congregation had their own go-to recipe for what to bring. Kids knew who to go to also, and I knew that the best days, I'd get in line early, I'd get the mac and cheese, maybe some ham and bread, and then go right to my dessert. But there were also other days when I got stuck in the back of the line, the good stuff was gone, the mac and cheese bowl was empty, and I'd go to my friend Jello Salad, in which case I would enjoy the Jello but ignore the, the fruit. Churches and potlucks do go together, even better than Jello and fruit or pears and cheese. And this Sunday, we get to have our own church-wide lunch with a potluck style. It's in the dining room immediately following worship. Sunday will be a big day as it's also Pledge Sunday. We ask everyone to bring a completed pledge card for the 2025 ministry budget. These cards will be shared in worship. They also can be completed online beforehand if you'd like to fill it out that way. Well, after worship and the benediction, we'll all head up to the dining room. With glad hearts, we'll share a meal together. Fried chicken will be provided by the church as well as the drinks. We're asking all of you to bring either a side dish or a dessert. Don't be intimidated by this potluck participation. A family recipe might work or a quick go-to dish or dessert, or even an item from our favorite local aunt, Laura Lynn. There's no cost for this meal and no sign-up process. Just show up on Sunday with expectant hearts and taste buds. And if you bring jello with fruit inside, I promise I'll eat more than I did when I was a kid. You can also bring some mac and cheese. The peace of Christ be with you all.